Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 32. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're now here with the Porsche Club. Um, so we're going to be taking the Porsche 997 GT2 again. Uh, I believe we took it at the start of the last episode as well for the Ferrari versus Porsche. But uh, we don't really have a choice. We're trying to save some money for these first few episodes. Once we get to the later episodes, we'll mix it up with lots of random cars. Lots of random voting. But for now, Porsche Club. Um, and then Viper Track Days today. So starting off with Sedona Raceway, Road Atlanta, Sunset Peninsula, and then New York Circuit. Let's get going. It's actually pretty cool having some of this old Falls of Music playing in the background. It's like a nostalgia boost. I gotta get some more music though for um for the stream playlist. I haven't added anything for about a week now. I need to get some more songs though because obviously tomorrow's stream is gonna be quite long, so. As well as editing some videos today, rendering them, I need to find some songs to add to my playlist. Uh, so we're going to be doing a 12-hour F1 stream where we're just playing through a uh, co-op campaign with Cardo. Um, hopefully we should be finishing it. We're about halfway through our campaign so far. So we got, uh, I believe it's 10 or 11 races to do tomorrow. I think it's 11. Uh, yeah, thank you, Pandy. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get pretty much done. Um, and then after that, once we finished it, we'll, uh, we're both going to buy the new F122 game and just play that. Mainly because I need an excuse to play it with someone. Because I'm not a fan yeah, we need to do Borderlands, but I really don't have the energy or the effort or the attention span to play Borderlands. I'm not really fancying playing first-person shooters. Mm. I'm not having a good time with this. Oh, we got that nice uh, that Carrera GT behind. Yeah, I've really gone off of first-person shooters. Um, when you think about it, I was playing... If you go back to probably 2016, anything before 2016 was solely racing games. I only ever played racing games, and I enjoyed it. Uh, and then, obviously, 2016, 2017 era, I sort of started a lot of uh, first-person shooter games, but I played a lot of racing games. And then when it came to about 2018, other than the occasional racing game that I play here and there, I was pretty much solely playing just first-person shooters all the way up until about mid-2021. Um, but since I've gotten my new PC, a majority of the games that I've played have been, like, obviously story games. I mean, you, you could say even up to, like, February 22. I was playing a lot of, like, story games again. But they weren't particularly first-person shooters. Not like it was before. And since then, I've just only wanted to play racing games. I've only played WRC... Gran Turismo, Forza. Uh, a, a lot of them have been rally games, actually. Really into my rallying. Um, it's a lot more exciting than typical circuit racing because of the fact that you're on the edge of performance. That was not ideal. 
You're like on the edge of grip at all times. Since I stopped playing all racing games too much. Siege, Cod and Apex right now, but I only play Forza series. That's the thing. So, I probably would play a lot more first person shooters if I was a fan of just Forza. Yeah, in, in this Porsche, I'm on the edge of grip all the time, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, if I only played Forza games, then yeah, I'd probably have a better mix of video games. But right now, I'm enjoying... Because I'm someone who... I enjoy video games for what they are. As, like, artwork. Their interpretations, their... As long as they give me an entertainment value, I don't care how it plays. Obviously, if I'm rating a game compared to another game, I obviously use gameplay feel to compare it. But, like, as long as I enjoy a game, I don't care. Um... And yeah. I've been playing Sebastian Loeb Rally, which a lot of people don't like the handling of it. And I, I will admit the handling is a bit odd. But once you get used to it and you start, like, getting some practice... Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo is a really good rally game. And a lot of people didn't give it the credit that it deserved. It's got a lot of mixed ratings on Steam, but I think it's fucking cracking. So much so, I'm doing it as part of my WRC series when it comes to it. It's going to be like a bonus thing. I still can't believe I've had only ever... I've only ever had one ace on Rainbow Six Siege, and I lost the video clip. The video clip doesn't exist anymore. I don't know where it went, but I don't have it anymore. Um, but yeah, I've had one ace on Siege, and it was out of pure luck that every single time um, I went round a corner, I saw someone, and my reaction times were better than theirs. It was pure luck, but I will take it as an ace. And it's the only one I've ever had. When I moved to PlayStation, didn't get one on there. When I moved to PC, didn't get one on there. That's what it is. Uh, I haven't seen the changes this season, to be honest. Um, again, I really can't get into Siege again. Not like I used to. I just don't find it fun. I do need to get some of my games out of my collection, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that is why I play it with you, because you're the only person pretty much that I can play it with, and I don't want to kill myself afterwards. But, yeah. But, um, what was I going to say? I was saying something, I've completely forgot. I don't have a mouse and keyboard dongle thing. I've got a dongle that lets me use a PS5 controller on a console. So it's controller to controller. I don't actually have a mouse and keyboard dongle. Um... Technically, the the it, it's called the Wingman XB. Um, it's basically it's by the same people that make the cheat devices, um, but it's more used as an accessibility tool, so people can use any controller on their Xbox, um, and there not be any compatibility issues. Um, because some people can't use a, uh, uh, what's it called? An Xbox controller because it's not comfortable for their hands. Obviously for me, I can use an Xbox controller. But my preference is the PS5. It's just so much better for me. Um, has been since it came out, since I've been using it. Uh, it's definitely better than the 360 controller. I just found it... 
when it came to using the triggers on the 360 controller, they're more aimed towards first-person shooter games. So if you're playing like a racing game and you're obviously you're always on the throttles, on the triggers and all that, they're not very comfortable for racing games. So obviously I had to swap it to a different controller. But the choice was either trying to find a really cheap, tatty Xbox 360 controller or just buy this dongle that lets me use one controller for the rest of my existence, pretty much. If my controller breaks, then I get a new controller and it can be used on everything, not just the platform that it broke for, you know. Mathematically speaking, it's better. Yeah, the PS3 controller was quite comfy, to be honest. For a stick controller... Well, technically you can't say the PS3 controller, because technically it's been the same shape since the PS1. So it would be the DualShock controller. But yeah. It's pretty nice. I just prefer the shape of the PS5 controller. And when they announced that Edge controller... With all the flappy paddles on the back and the trigger stops and everything. I'm not going to lie, that got me a bit excited. Hey, no worries, Pandy. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Sticking around. Later, hear me tonight. Because my feeling is just so right. I feel love for the first time. I still think this is the song of GTA 5. Honestly, GTA 5. Non is it non-stop radio? This was the shit. And I know that it's true. I can tell by the look in your eyes. That understood like an absolute bitch. Right, so we're 160 miles an hour here. Hundred and eighty. Woohoo! Oh yeah, I've just realized this is the first game um where it actually uses miles an hour as a default speedo reading. Because the first and the second game were all kilometers. So I had to do like conversions in my head. I don't have to do it anymore. But I still might do the conversions when we're looking at top speed runs. When we're talking about top speed. So that 180 is about um, 290, 295 kilometers, something like that. I'll say 290. Speedy man, speedy man, speedy man. Later, hear me tonight, cause my feeling is just so right. What happened to my audio there? Did that cut out on the capture card? I do need to get a PCIe capture card because I think there's actually the reason why my stream quality uh, wow, the video quality doesn't look great. Sure, for stream it doesn't matter 
because the bitrate is lower than the capture card, but I think the capture card's bitrate is like limited to about 20,000 kilobits a second. So when I'm trying to increase it to like 30, 50, when I'm recording, um, it's, it's not doing the job. So I'm thinking of getting a slightly higher quality capture card for Motorsport 4. You're my delight. Not bad. I didn't even realise we'd done four laps. I thought we were on the third, to be perfectly honest. But oh well. We got six grand there. Not bad. All right. Let's go. Rim. Welcome to Forza 3. I do love the animations in this game. It's... The fact that Forza has always had that starting race animation. I know Motorsport uh, 4 didn't have it. Oh no, it did. It did. Motorsport 5... Uh, not Motorsport. Uh, sorry, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 4 had it. Oh shit. I was too focused on my uh, topic. Thank you very much. Oh uh, yeah, Gran Turismo 4 had the starting animations, but I think 5 and 6 didn't really have that much of an animation. It was just like, oh, here's the front of the car. And then here's the car. Drive it. it. Wasn't very cinematic. And I mean, all of the animations have... Um, they basically used a different animation for every single Forza game. Hey, Kodo with a raid. My guy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. What I'm gonna do without you. I love this song. Me a dumbass. How are you a dumbass, Kodo? How are you a dumbass? You had your mic muted the whole stream. Oh, Jesus. I didn't actually have any audio, so I couldn't really tell you that it was muted. Oh, that sucks, man. I've had that before where my mic's been muted for like a couple hours, three or four hours. Well, about three hours. The mic's just been muted and, but because no one had joined, I was like, what? Oh, that's fucking great. That's why no one's joined. Luckily, it wasn't for a recording session, so it, yeah, I didn't have to re-record or anything, but it wasn't ideal. I don't think it's dumbass, I just think it's a lesson to learn, really. It's quite an easy mistake to do. I mean, there's been times where my mic's been muted during stream. I've had to re-record a section or whatever. So, these things happen. Kind of how you become a better streamer, a better content creator. You have these mistakes happen. You try and fix it, Jesus. I'm learning from it. That was shocking, to be honest. The way that car was on two wheels for that long, that that scared me a little. I thought I was going to roll it. I kid you not, I thought that car was going over. Spin. I'm spinning around, move out of my way. That's not too bad. Yeah, one of them was me. It was me. Mm -hmm. 
Microsoft Game Studios. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Oh! Yo, Dan! Thank you for the follow, appreciate it, man. Yo, what up? Go, 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 go! Car behind, 15 seconds. From Cardo's stream. Ah, awesome! Appreciate it, man. Let's go! Nice parking. That's how it's done. We got eight grand. We're getting close to level 41 as well. Which is very nice. Nice, poggers. We got 13 grind. 13 grind? 13 grand. Not too bad. All right, so we're here for the Viper Track Days. Um, this is coming on to the last of the uh, manufacturer events. We've got three more to do. Uh, starting off with Circuit de Catalunya, New York Circuit, Mazda Raceway, and then Sunset Peninsula. All right. Here we go. Cotto, you're weird. I'm not going to lie. I think there's too many events. Yeah, there probably are better chocolates out there than Galaxy, but Galaxy is really good. Uh, do you know what? Milky Ways as well. As much as they are basically aimed for kids... Milky Ways are the shit. They are. Like, they're fluffy. The only problem with Milky Ways is the fact that they can turn you into a diabetic. Because you could quite easily, like, buy, like, a six pack, a nine pack, whatever, and just go through an entire packet of Milky Ways. Oh, yeah, I know what you meant. I'm on about Milky Ways. Milky Ways are fucking awesome. Snickers are basically just adult versions of Milky Ways. And Mars bars are the peanut allergies. <laughs> for the people with a peanut allergy, that's what a Mars bar is for. Oh shit. How the hell did I overshoot that that bad? How have you never had a Milky Way? Do you even live in this country? Are you like a secret alien from another planet? That doesn't actually live on this country but pretends to. <laughs> Mars bar is obviously am amazing. Um, what other chocolates are there in the UK that are good? I mean, in terms of, like, plain chocolate, Cadbury's is, like, the best out there. In my opinion. But the problem is, like, no matter what anyone says, um... American chocolate will never be the best chocolate in the world. Because the problem with American chocolate is they're not allowed to put um, palm oils and shit like that. I know, Hershey's is terrible. Do you know, I'm actually struggling to overtake these guys. Come on, move. Um, Hershey's is like an American chocolate. Um, but it's heavily... 
it's I believe Hershey's is the most um, imported chocolate from America that's in the UK like you'll find Hershey's absolutely everywhere that was not ideal I'm going for the push there we go yeah it's literally made from human shit the only reason it, it tastes so bad is, and a lot of American chocolate does taste bad, is because America has a ban on oils and shit like that in chocolate. And a lot of the time to make a nice chocolate, you need good oils. Um, so it has a smoother texture. That's why when you get melted chocolate on your hands, it feels quite greasy because it's full of oil. Um, I mean, if you look at this, it's got... 75% chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, palm fat, milk fat, lactose. Um, so obviously palm fat is under palm oils. You've got palm kernel oil, vanilla extract, stuff like that. So it does have oils in them that's used to give you that chocolatey texture. Without them, it's like shit. All right, here we go. Anyone deserves VIP. <laughs> VIP are for the people who watch a lot. If you get yourself enough channel points to buy VIP, you get VIP. Simple as. Move! Fat pig. Now to save up again. Saving up for those free subs, I see. Oh, you not sack. Oh, that was a heavy hit. Much better. Fifty-five hours is pretty impressive, to be honest. Fifty-five hours in what is pretty much a month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to be doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow, by the way, chat. With uh, Kodo here, who's currently in the chat. Uh, it's going to be an F1. There is quite a lot to do. There's more to do in... Gran Turismo 7. Um, but GT Sport. I don't recommend trying to get Platinums or playing GT Sport that much now that GT 7's out. Because GT 7 is just GT Sport, but better. Hey, do you know what? Going to the movies twice in one day, that sounds like an ideal day. I want to, um, I haven't been to the cinema in fucking ages. I can't remember what, um, I can't remember what the last movie that I watched was from the cinema. There we go. I think the last movie would have been, um... Oh, I don't know. The last one I remember was, uh, Fast and Furious 7. But I think I watched another one after that. I can't remember what it was. The last one I remember clearly was, uh, Motorsport 7. 
Motorsport 7, Fast and Furious 7. Did I say Motorsport 7 before as well? I meant to say Fast and Furious 7. I'm not going to lie, Fast and Furious 7 was a really good film. But I will always admit, Fast and Furious 5 is my favourite Fast and Furious film. Fast 5 is the best that it's ever been. So good, so action packed. <laughs> it Chapter 2 and Harry Potter, the last one. Wait, have they made a new Harry Potter film? I thought they sort of finished with Harry Potter after they got old. That's a bit harsh. They're not old, but they're older. Make the club go up. Time to shut the booth down. This is not how I roll up, but it's how I look now. As year goes. Ah, fair enough. Cotto, I have all of the Fast and Furious films, one to seven. We will watch one. Because they are brilliant, honestly. I love the Fast and Furious franchise. We got nine grand. <gasps> yes, level 41. Let's go. Right, we got a car from McLaren. We got a number 43 Team BMW Motorsport McLaren F1 GTR. Nice. We'll be on till morning. Then we rinse and repeat. And it just goes on. Which one passed? Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. All right, here we go. Viper. Oh, no. <laughs> Kodo, um, how far in are you of your Motorsport 3? Have I overtaken you yet? I think I might have. I can't breathe, my heart's on fire. But you make me feel like life's just fine. I love this song so much, it's a tune. It's one of the best songs that Example has made for a while. Deep in your eyes, everything they say, listening to the song. Came for another day, deep in your eyes, everything they say, they say, come deep in your eyes. 41% in. 41? Not bad. Forty-one percent. I didn't think you had done that many events, because you haven't got a lot of ticks on the uh, event list. Or oh, you might do, and I just didn't notice. Could be that. To be honest, it's been a month since you streamed it, so that stream is kind of foggy in my memory. Oh, look at that sunlight. That's beautiful. Look at the god rays as well. Honestly, when video games put god rays in, it's just instantly a better graphically game. Graphically better game. Ah, fair enough. It's on fire. Make me feel like life's just fine. I can't get by. Know that everything is gonna be okay from deep in your ass. Deep in your ass. <laughs> What's she bragging about? I'd respond and be like, nah, I'm lucky because I don't have to deal with your shit. <laughs> Used to be the type to break down. Uh, 
I really think London is overrated. I think these more expensive places are just so overrated and they don't actually offer you a great experience. Other than the fact that if you enjoy watching money just disappear out of your bank account, then sure. If you like seeing all your money just disappear, go to London, spend a grand in London, whatever, you know. Ew, once was a kid with my own little kids. Tell mommy I'm sorry. This life is a party. What the fuck got starred in that? Nothing got starred. I don't know what you mean. Nothing got starred on it. Came through perfectly fine on my end. That might be on your Twitch settings then, because it isn't starred on my end. Kid on my head was a dream, all money, more problems than I can Yeah, it's a bit shit. Never growing up. Not bad. Here we go. Oh, we're one sub away. One sub away from gifting a free sub to the chat. Nice slide there. What are you doing, you baboon? Ah, uh, you've given me distance now. Got over the gifted sub, my man. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we're now at five, so at the end of the stream, we'll be gifting a sub to anyone that has joined the stream today. Oh, let's get down to business. One more night, one more night to get this. Oh, come on. Be careful. Yeah. It's a little personal preference. I love this song just because it's got that. The beat in the background. It's, it's just a summer song. It's a summer vibe. Get enough alcohol down you in any song is a summer vibe, to be honest. Jesus Christ, that gear ratio for the sixth gear is ridiculous. That's like you're at 150 miles an hour and only 3,000 RPM. That's like implying this car can go 300 miles an hour. Stacy's mum has got it going on. <laughs> nah. It's, uh... I don't know, it's, a, it's an odd song. Stacy, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. It's a weird one. Especially in the music video. Oh, look, boobies! Essentially, all that thing is about. It's a, it's a weird story. It's weird. It is odd. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that was a collision and a half. Five start by the Prodigy is a good one. Are those all high? Is that Hyundai advertisement? It's just Hyundai shit. Fair enough. Five start should come on at some point during this playlist, anyways. No. Don't even get me started on Go by the Chemical Brothers. The chorus is so terrible in that song. Like, the chorus is okay. Uh, not the chorus. The, the verses are okay. But the chorus ruins that song. Oh! There's a reason why I skipped it every time it came on in Need for Speed 2015. It was shit. What's even worse is it's in Dirt 4 as well. It is a song that I find very confusing to its entire existence. Not bad. I believe that's the last time we get to drive this Viper, because if I have to drive it once more, I'll be pissed. I don't want to drive another Viper. I am done with the Viper. I think we've got enough money as well at this point. Let's get on with the final two. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.